<laughs> Polar. P90X Polar. You guys notice something? Yep. Got a new dog. Because two dogs weren't enough, we had to get three. Actually, this dog is like, we're not even sure of her age. 10, 11 years old, somewhere in that range. And basically, the story is the owner of that dog was going to move into an apartment and she could not keep that dog anymore. So we basically saved her. And since we know the person, we're like, you know what? We'll take your dog. You can come and hang out with her whenever you want, but we'll take care of her because we're good people. So uh, yeah, nice dog. Just really awesome. Funny story, we have three dogs and they all have schnauzers in them. So Devin, pure schnauzer. Kayla, she's a schnoodle. So she's a mix of a toy poodle and a miniature schnauzer. And then we have this dog, which is a mix of Cocker Spaniel and Schnauzer. So yeah, pretty cool. This week has been good food wise and workout wise, I would say, except that it was a little slow in the sense that I skipped a few days here and there because of a sore hip. And I think that happened at bowling. Yeah, I bowled on Tuesday and then the next morning, my hip was super sore, man. It was really sore, but uh, then I got a massage. I think it was on that and that uh, the afternoon of the Wednesday, and I felt much better after that. So that's really good. That really helped out. So back on track now. One thing I want to show you guys is we, as you guys know, we're moving to a new house. And I really wanted a new spot for the new house. So we started shopping around and uh, we're going to get a spa in July. Well, that's going to be exciting because we're moving at the end of May. Then we'll sit, settle in the house. We'll have a lot of, lot, lots of stuff to do, just getting used to the house and stuff. And then by July, we're going to get a spa, man, which is awesome. Let me get this guy. Super exciting. So it fits four people, which is perfect for us. And what I like about it is it plugs into 110 volts. So you don't need a special, um, you don't need an, uh, an electrician to come over and install a new plug for it or a new setup for it to plug into the 220. 110 is going to be good. And we're not going to use it in the summer. Uh, sorry. We're not going to use it in the winter. So that's going to be perfect for us. I'll fit our needs perfectly. We're going to probably run it from like April to October, something like that. Probably close it after Halloween. Yeah. Check what the wife bought me. Isn't that thing awesome? That thing is awesome. But Bowler, you don't even play guitar. Why do you want that thing?
right? Not really good, but I could play a bit of guitar. All right. I've been playing off and off. I've been playing on and off for years. Also, so she picked this up at a store. It's it's really weird and it's hard to explain, but basically this place, what it is, you know as often Amazon, you return some products on Amazon? Well, this is what this place is. They sell use pro open products that customers did not want on Amazon. They return the items and then there's a store in where I live where basically, yeah, you could find some goodies. One thing she bought me, this nit Nitro Surge, this is a pre-workout. This was eight bucks. Holy crap. It's worth 30 bucks new on Amazon. So I got two tubs. So that's awesome. It's an awesome pre-workout. So very cool. You know how I, when, in one of my videos I mentioned, it's important to have like a date to look forward to in the summer, right? Well, I have one now. Well, June 14th was when it was my birthday. That's when I'm done my 200 days. But now I have something even more significant, I'd say, to look forward to. What is it? Well, it's a summer party. It's a beach. It's a pool party at my brother's house in early August. I think it's August 4th. So I want to do my best to be in the best shape for that. You know, I just want to, I want to be comfortable in my bathing suit, right? That's the goal. Right now, I don't think I am. So one thing I do want to mention is so that's new motivation and also i only had one week left to do in my um body beast program and i was getting a little stale with it and you know what i think I, i'm really taxing my body with body beast because i'm getting injured a lot well injured a lot Feeling some soreness here and there. So I'm going to try something new. And I think I need something like a new split, basically, is what I'm going to do. Right? We're going to probably do Body Beast. Resume it back. Or start a new, a fresh Body Beast. Probably the the Beast version this time. Or the huge Beast version. Once I'm in the ho new house, because I want to buy some new weights. We're missing some 35-pounders and some 50-pounders. So some 35-pounders and some 50-pound weights that I want to buy. Probably around my birthday once I get some money, I go buy out and buy some new weights. So that's going to be awesome. Looking forward to that. So, Bowler, what are you going to do for your new? So, I'm calling this my new workout split. This was, check it out. On Sunday, I'm going to be doing body beast build shoulders or body beast total body. On Monday, it's going to be treadmill and walking outside. Tuesday is going to be body beast, chest and tries. Wednesday is going to be more treadmill or walking outside. Thursday is going to be some P90X back and buys. Friday is going to be treadmill, walking outside again. And on Sunday, we're going to do some P90X series one-on-one, -on -one, just arms. So looking forward to that split. In case you're wondering what the heck is one-on-one -on -one P90X just arms? Well, when Tony Horton recorded P90X in 2004, that sold really well, right? That's I bought mine in 2010, but around 2008, 2009, he was thinking about a P90X too, right? So he did sort of, sort of like a test run of some videos some workout videos that he recorded at home, right? He recorded some stuff at home. Well, that's kind of cool. And one of them is called Just Arms. So it's my one of my favorite workouts. So I'll be doing that on Saturdays. And actually, today's day one. Well, there's not really a day one. I think I'm going to probably, and let me to give some more context, is I'll probably be doing this until I move, right? Because God knows that I think starting next, like this week, it's still cold out. It's going to start getting warmer this week. And that's when I'm going to go attack the garage. I, I got four days off next weekend. I got like a four-day weekend next next weekend. 
So I think that that's when we're going to start attacking the boxes. So yeah, looking forward to that a lot. So I'll, on top of my workouts, I'll be moving a lot, walking a lot. So yeah, that's awesome. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't be too hard on my guitar playing. You know, I was just having some fun. So I'll let you guys go. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Consider subscribing if you want some more content like this. But uh, I'll try filming some uh, footage of me working out this week. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I haven't been weighing myself lately, so that's why we didn't talk about the weight. But uh, I think I'll probably step on the scale this week to see how I'm doing. But it's not a priority for me. I know I'm feeling good. I'm not going off, super off. Yesterday was my cheat night on Friday night. But apart from that, it's been a good week. And I'm, working, I'm doing my workouts. And then you know what? We're sticking to the plan. So see you guys later.